Hi, Matt Tinker. Well, this year I've decided that I'm going to have a go at um, Emma's uh, tool making competition. Not really about winning, but just about, about being on the web and being part of it and it being an interesting an idea. So I'm going to uh, go through the process of making a tangential tool holder. Okay, this is my um, right hand cutting tangential tool holder. The reason why it's tangential is tangential or diamond because it's a, the diamond shape of the top of the tool is because the instead of the tool coming in at right angles to the work it's at a tangent and all that all that one needs to do to sharpen it is to sharpen that si surface flat the rest of the tool geometry comes from the angle that the tool is situated at in the holder the um, this holder I made out of the these the same bits I actually cut them all out at the same time so that this um, will be put together those two blocks being <coughs> making up the the um, making up the mounting to go onto the tool post the uh, front is cut at 12 degrees which is the same as the angle as the tool of the tool one the thing is the, the, the critical angles on this tool holder are 12 degrees forwards towards the towards the tool post and 12 degrees either to the left for a right hand cutting tool or to the right for, for a left hand cutting tool. So to make the tool holder I have two blocks of mild steel one of which is 15 millimeters the other is 10. Um, I, I come from a I have a fabrication background so I will weld everything um, these two blocks for example will need drilling, tapping, countersinking um, uh, so that they will make up this tool holder so the, my, my usual reaction to that sort of situation is to tack all four corners drill and tap and drill and tap and when I finish with them um, mill the sides straight uh, there's, I've just got one side that is milled flat for the moment uh, which is the critical side that will need to be kept like that later on so once once these are drilled and tapped drill tapped and countersunk I will mill all four sides divide them up and mill the two halves so that the uh, the 10 millimeter square tool will be able to, to a tool like that will be able to uh, fit in the so the the two blocks on the side to engage in the tool holder we were welded like that exactly as I've done on this one these are all welded the tool holder itself uh, which will be actually the narrow side towards the here will be welded on to the front to get the 12 degrees that way and it will lean 12 degrees that way I'm going to weld these with four millimeter rods they must be something like I can't remember that uh, I think they're five thirty second rods. I'm going to use ordinary uh, 6013. It doesn't require any particular strength 
and I just will I'll build up until um, I build up and cut off square and flush like I did this one and remodel it around using the angle grinder. I'm going to peen it and I'm going to use the air hammer to peen it. I'm just going to carry on like that until I built that up flat. And I don't think there's any real reason for you to stay with me while I do that because it's just boring. Having built up with weld and peened each layer. I so far haven't got any movement in the, I haven't had any, any um, dis, distortion from shrinkage. So uh, the next thing to do is to grind that up uh, flat uh, so I can see how it fits. Now that grinding is not exactly the most interesting operation. I'll do a bit on camera and then then I'll switch you off. I've welded this side and ground it off almost to its final shape. It's not quite square. I can, but I can do something about that. Um, this other side is in place, um, and I've got I've, I've uh, peened all of this face here, and I've got some low spots that I've got to build up uh, before I grind it off to be able to then just weld the end part on. Now. Um, I'm not about to do uh, any welding lessons on this and um, I'm in two minds to just uh, bring you back when I finish building it up because all I'm going to do is to weld a bit in here to be able to level off that surface. So that is where, without any filing or retouching anything uh, on the inside, it's just using the peening technique.
eight millimeters. Perfect. So So that's the those are the two halves of the tool holder. Which will obviously have to be the bird. And cleaned up. Uh, 10, inch, 10 millimeters wide, which is not a surprise. The distance from the edge is six, like the other part. So altogether, uh, these two bits now just need deburring, putting together, and then we'll weld the whole. Well, do the final welding. <clears throat> to get these two in place. I have been able to place the tool holding block onto the tool holder itself. It's tacked here and here. I will now have to weld this up here take this apart and make a groove so that I can weld this side onto that. I've been working on grinding uh, the welds, the surface, um, uh, principally on the fixed part uh, as uh, Ground, ground with, first of all, with a stone, with an ordinary angle grinder, um, a lot with a large angle grinder, and then a flat wheel over the top to, to make it more comfortable to, to work with. I'm very pleased because um, I have, apart from a very tiny touch up on the outside here and on this face here, I've not done any adjusting to it at all and it fits into the holder perfectly. Take some more off. Not much. Not much. A couple of millimetres from here but no more at the bottom. So that looks... Uh, fairly reasonable to me. I'm also going to have to countersink the two bolts uh, so that um, they'll get hide in there better. This is going to have to have quite a... it's going to have to be removed. Let's uh, take it like that. It's going to have to take some more off the top here. Off the so the tool can advance into the work. Uh, the back rake functions. I have to make a um, a, a 12 millimeter square head for this bolt which means I'm going to build it up with weld uh, turn it down and make a um, uh, make a, a square headed bolt like this which is the same as all the other square headed bolts on the tool holders that I have generally that sort of thing happens like that let me see if I can see it yeah like that but uh, it's much more difficult to grind up and get true. So if what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way around, so that the um, so that the weld is away from the corner. Doesn't have to be a huge weld, just a bit of penetration at the bottom, uh, which allow me to have something that's neater, uh, uh, neat, quicker, and easier to grind to get it true. welded up. I laid it on a bit thick so that I've got um, so I won't have to go back over it again um, and build up some more when I grind it down. The bolt head although it's not very pretty it's um, it's got enough meat on it to be able to transform it into a square 
um, 12 millimeter square uh, adjuster bolt. Drilled and tapped for uh, drilled 10.3 for uh, 12, M12 thread. The adjuster screw now fits in. Um, well, it just needs a square headed bolt and the <clears throat> a square headed bolt and this part welding to the body. Um, I'm, I'm going to weld it entirely on the inside so there'll be practically nothing, as I did with this one, so there's practically nothing visible on the outside. The weld is here. Makes it neater. This is the welding setup. Let's get down to a height where you can see it. Uh, the, there's a block on the back to space it out so that it'll be in the alignment with this face. Uh, both sides are ground out at about 45 degrees to give me some way to put the weld and I'll just build it up on the inside using a 3.2 millimeter rod. There it is, welded up from the inside only. A little tiny bit on the outside to clean up with a file, but uh, principal stuff is going to be here with an, uh, with an angle grinder. Um, so it'll be like its brother. This is a bit, kind of a before and after shot on the left. The right cutting, hand cutting tool that I'd already made, which I haven't yet finished fettling with the file and getting ready. And on the right is the uh, the left cutting tool, which I have sandblasted, ready to um, ready to cold black it. So here are the two finished um, tangential tool holders. Uh, on the left it's the right cutting tool and on the right it's the left cutting tool. Whoops. The, I haven't finished fettling the sharpening block um, but it's as I said before I think it's 30 degrees um, <clears throat> to, to work with the 12 degree inclination of the the high speed steel blank in the tool holder so 12 degrees and 12 degrees leaning the way it's cutting and so that is it